Welcome to the UCL Clinical Skills Cardiovascular Examination. To start off the cardiovascular examination, you will need to complete wiper. Wash your hands. Introduce yourself to the patient, stating your full name and role. Ask permission and check if the patient is in any pain. Expose your patient appropriately. Reposition the patient lying down at a 45 degree angle. You may now begin the examination with inspection from the end of the bed. Look at the patient for any signs of breathlessness, distress or any obvious scars. Look at the surrounding environment for oxygen, fluid restriction signs, GTN sprays or any other clues. Start your peripheral inspection with the hands. Look for peripheral cyanosis, examine the nails for clubbing, splinter hemorrhages, Osler's nodes and Janeway lesions. Feel for warmth, sweating or clamminess. Test capillary refill time by pressing the nail bed for 5 seconds. Release and count how many seconds it takes for the colour to return. It should be less than 2 seconds. Palpate the radial pulse, assessing rate and rhythm. Then move to the brachial pulse and assess its volume and character. Now assess the collapsing radial pulse. Whilst feeling the pulse, raise the arm above the height of the heart and note any change in volume and character. At this point, you should measure the blood pressure. Check the eyes for corneal arcus and periorbital region for xanthelasma. Inspect the conjunctiva for pallor. Look at the lips and tongue for central cyanosis. Assess the jugular venous pressure height. Measure the level of the jugular venous pressure with reference to its height above the sternal angle. Palpate the carotid pulse and assess its volume and character on both sides. Inspect the chest wall for previous scars, pacemakers, abnormal pulsations and a visible apex beat. Palpate for apex beat, heaves and thrills. Now auscultate the heart. Listen with both the bell and the diaphragm of your stethoscope at the apex, base, aortic and pulmonary regions. Start with the bell at the apex, then switch to the diaphragm for the other cardiac areas. Start by listening to the heart sounds. To help you differentiate between the heart sounds, they should be timed against the carotid pulse. Listen to the first heart sound. Now listen to the second heart sound. Listen for murmurs. These should also be timed with the carotid pulse. Now roll the patient onto their left side and listen for murmurs. These should also be timed with the carotid pulse. To listen for an early diastolic murmur signifying aortic incompetence, you should ask the patient to sit forward, take a deep breath, Breathe out and hold their breath. Auscultate over the carotid arteries for buoys. Now ask the patient to sit forward and listen over the lung bases for crepitations, which may result from pulmonary edema. Check for sacral edema. 
Now move on to the lower limbs. Check for ankle edema. Ensure you check both legs. Check the peripheral pulses on both legs. The femoral pulse. Auscultate for bruise. The popliteal pulse. The posterior tibial pulse. Here you can see the doctor confirming the patient's pulse and not her own. Now feel for the dorsalis pedis. Finally, explain to the patient that your examination has been completed. Thank them for their cooperation and offer to help them get dressed. Finish off by washing your hands. Thank you.